In this video, I will show you how to create these wavy lines between these sections inside your website. And I will show you the easiest way to do it. And I will explain every line of code. So let's get into it. So here I have a empty folder and I'm going to create everything from scratch just to avoid any confusions. Let's create a index.html file and a style.css inside the html file using one exclamation mark i will create a boilerplate and let's link the style sheet inside the css i will select the entire page and reset the margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box and set a font family let's go back into html and open this file on the browser using live server so first of all, we are going to create a simple website with some sections so we can add waves between them. Let's create a section with a div inside and this div is going to have some text, section one and some paragraph. Let's copy and paste this section two more times. And in between these sections, we are going to put the waves. Let's also style this. I will select the sections and set them to minimum height 100VH. So they are going to cover the entire viewport. And add some padding 5EM to 10%. So 5EM of padding at the top and the bottom and 10% on the sides. I will make this a flex container and align the div on the center. Let's also align the text on the center as well. And the text color is going to be white. So I will give each of these sections different background colors. So I will select the first one using NTH of type. And I want to select the first one. So I will put a one inside the parentheses and set the background color to this dark color. And for the second one, Let's change this to 2. And this one is going to be this red color. Let's select the third one. And this one is going to be purple. Let's make the H1 a lot bigger. And increase the font weight. And the paragraph as well. So now we have a basic website with some sections and text inside. So we are going to have two waves. The first one is going to be here and the second one is going to be here. To create the waves, we are going to use this website called highk.app. You can find the link in the description to this website. And this website basically creates SVGs using templates. Let's click on start designing. And on the left, you can see there are predefined patterns such as blobs, waves, gradient backgrounds, more blobs and layered waves, and this scatter backgrounds like this. So the shapes are predefined, but you can play around with those on the right hand side. So if I increase the resolution of this background, there are going to be a lot more triangles. We can change the colors. And this goes the same with the other ones as well. We can change the waves background color. We can increase the number of waves, increase the complexity. So this will make more waves. We can increase the contrast, decrease it. And as I said, these are all SVGs. So you can play around with this and customize them. But in this case, we are going to be using the wave. So let me show you what kind of customizations you can make. You can change this solid wave to a outline. You can play around with the interpolation. So instead of wave, you can make it peaks or steps. You can also change the direction. So instead of going from bottom to the top, you can make it go from left to the right or top to bottom. And this is what we are going to use. So I will leave it. You can play around with the balance. So if you increase this, the waves are going to be longer. If you decrease it, it is going to be less wavy. 
and it is going to be really short. Just like the others, you can play around with the complexity. If you increase this, there is going to be a lot more waves, or if you decrease it, there is not going to be a wave at all. And you can play around with the contrast to increase the waves. And also at the top, you can play around with the canvas. There are some predefined resolutions like 2 to 1, 16 to 9. So we don't need this SVG to cover the entire section. We just need a little rectangle like this. So I will set a dimension myself, which is going to be 960 to 300. And this is all we need in terms of the dimensions. So I will play around with this to make it look better. So this looks fine. But there is one more thing to do, which is the most important one, which is to make the colors match to the sections. So this is going to be the first one. And we are going to place it right below this first section, which has a black background color. So the wave itself is going to match this color and the background color is going to match the second section's background color. So I will copy the background color of the first section and paste it to change the background color of this wave. So next I will copy the second one and this time I will paste it inside the background. And now we have a matching color. So we can save this by clicking on the SVG. So here I have downloaded the SVG file and copy and paste it inside my project folder. And if you take a look at it, there is a really complex path. And you can see the color as well. Also the size that we set, which is 960 to 300. And let's put it between the first one and the second one. I will create a empty div. Let's call it divider. And this is going to be the first one, so wave 1. So inside the CSS, I will select the divider. And we are going to use aspect ratio to set its size, which is going to be the same number as its dimensions, which is 960 to 300. And the reason why we use aspect ratio is because we used a SVG file. And no matter how small or how big it gets, we want it to keep its dimensions. And that is why we used aspect ratio instead of height and width. Also, we need to set the background repeat to no repeat. And we also need to center it. Also, we are going to set the background size to cover. And let's select the first wave. And we are going to put the SVG inside using CSS. So background image and I will select the first wave and as you can see the colors match so it is a seamless transition between the sections so let's do the same for the second one as well so this time the wave itself is going to have this red color which is the second section's background color let's copy and paste this and for the background color of the SVG, I will select the background color of the third section and I will copy it for the background. Let's download this one as well. And here I copied the second one as well. This is pretty much the same with the first one. In terms of the dimensions, we didn't change anything, just the background color. And in between the second section and third section, I will just copy and paste this and change this one to wave 2. Inside the CSS, I will select the wave 2 and set the background image to the second wave to wave 2. And there you go, the second one is done as well as the first one. So this is the easiest way to create waves between the sections inside your website. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.